uh, Benji Marshall, uh, questioning his work ethic for the West Tigers for his 2024 season as a coach. Can you explain or talk us through this one? Yeah, I wrote a story this morning, Benji, and I, I, in the fair deck of mistakes, I did not set out to bag Benji, but I wanted to throw out there a question. Is this a rock star who may revolutionise coaching, or is he a player, or a coach rather, that won't put in the hours to succeed? Benji's come out and said, I'm not a 24-7 coach. He doesn't want it to be all-consuming in his life. He's got family, and he wants to look after them. I applaud him for that. I spoke to Benji today. He disputed a lot of the interpretations, mm. and the thing that hurt him most was that the insinuation that he wasn't putting the hours in. But the stereotype out there is all coaches get in at 5am, they do 18 hours a day, 100 hour, uh, hours a week, and if Benji doesn't do that, who's to say it's not right? Who's to say it might not work, mm. though? I look, uh, look. Do you uh, need to do that amount of time, though, Kendi, well, to yes, guarantee success? I think you do. I think you do. I, I, because there's never been a coach that hasn't. There's never been a successful coach that hasn't. Every successful coach, uh, uh, they're workaholics. They are micromanagers. They want to sit there and they, they, they obviously they delegate to their assistants, but they still overlook everything. Benji, from my understanding, is very happy to let the assistants do what they've got to do. Uh, there's times that the video, the, you know, Benji's election not to put his players through watching the video. He'll say, let's, let's just get straight out into the field. It doesn't happen at other clubs. It's very different from what's happening at other clubs. But who's now, to say what's right and what's well, wrong? That, well, I'll tell you what, well, I'll tell you, we won't know now. We will know in 10 weeks' time when we look at the ladder. I think and, and if they're sitting pretty at top three or four, he might change the game. He might revolutionise coaching. But that's it. I don't know if coach, not only in the NRL, but anywhere in sport at elite level who can play golf a couple of days a week. Who can sit there and well, get is he, in is he, when the is, he, is he playing golf a couple of times well, a week? Yeah, there's a, I think he gets the odd round in, is, is what I hear, OK? But the thing is, I just don't... Look, and uh, again, I'm not trying to sit there and shit-pot the Tigers again, but it just, it's very different from anything, anywhere, that goes on at elite sport. You, you talk to, about NFL coaches. You talk about English Premier League coaches, European soccer coaches. You know, you talk to other AFL coaches here. They all have the same... Fo they're all in there. They all do. 12-hour days are nothing well, to them. Well, surely on that, though, Kenty, surely it depends what stage of your career that you're at. Like, let's look at the other end of the spectrum and a coach like Wayne Bennett. Wayne's not in there at 4.30am every day. Okay. He's there early, right? But he also leaves I it. I agree with that. that. Right, that, 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 that is one end of the spectrum when you've got seven premierships under your belt and more than 900 NRL games. If you're at Benji's stage where you've got the old plates on, you haven't coached one NRL game, I can understand why Bulldog's asking Benji, the question. I, you need to be in there, you need to be visible, yes. you've got to be setting the standards and you've got to be showing the rest of the organisation what you want to stand for. I had a chat to Benji a couple of years ago when he first got appointed. And I asked him why he thought it would work, OK? And I didn't mean it... I meant it respectfully. Like, why do you think a guy who's not coached at any level can get his first job as an assistant coach? And I pointed out to him that I've known a lot of ex-footballers who were very, very good footballers, very intelligent footballers, who were unable to cut it as NRL coaches. Terry Lamb didn't have a great stint. Paul Langmack, they, they, were, they had a couple of short seasons coaching and, and never got back in the first grade again. And they didn't have success when they were there. Yet as footballers, they were elite footballers, they were intelligent footballers. Benji's that sort of player. But he's got no experience coaching. It's going to be tough to do it. And I asked him why, and he spoke a lot about Wayne. And he spoke about how he's, he'd worked with Wayne at a couple of clubs by then. And he, and he wanted to... It, look, he, he watched a lot about how Wayne worked and all that. What the difference, I think, is, is that Wayne has been around for so long and has coached... You know, when Wayne first began coaching, him and Trish sat there doing the tackle counts together on the video. They didn't have a, a room full of assistants doing all that. They didn't have the computer programs. So Wayne sat there and Wayne's worked through right through the transformation of modern coaching. So he's now at this point, at the other end of his career, where he's able to troubleshoot very quickly. If he sees a problem, he identifies it quickly and he can get on it before it becomes an issue. Whereas as I, my fear for Benji was that as a young coach, he might not recognise it straight away as something that's the problem that it is. 
until then it becomes too late. And then suddenly, and we all see this, when coaches get in a little bit of trouble, they're losing games, they don't quite know what, why they're losing, they make a few changes here, they try a different few things, and the pressure gets them. And if they don't make the right call immediately, suddenly it's just, it disappears from that. They've lost control of it. And that's when the, the end becomes very quickly. Does he get any latitude Comes because... They've won back-to-back -back wooden spoons. No. To be brutally honest, it's probably the worst roster in the competition. Why is and he he's, a, he's a rookie. Well, well, I'm just saying, a that, the job that he has taken on, right? okay. Wayne Bennett would struggle getting the Tigers to make the finals this season. Okay. It would be a challenge. Okay. I reckon he'd do it, but I'm telling you he'd struggle. Benji, is the unknown? Look, we don't okay. know anything okay. about that's what true. type of that's coach all, he's going to true. be. Right? That's all true until you hear the coach is doing... Six hour work days. That that, do, do we well, know that? Do we? Well, He's well, definitely well, only. I don't going. know if it's six hours, but it's not, it's not the hours that certain the other guy. Other co you know, Brian Smith used to sit there, work at one o'clock in the morning, fall asleep at his desk, wake up at five o'clock in the morning, and just keep going. Yeah. Craig Bellamy was the same. That, that, that's, that's what they are as coaches. That's the animal that's inside them. Most other coaches now, they, they're all in there at the very latest by 6 a.m. There's, there's not a coach in the competition that walks into the club at 9 o'clock in the morning when the players are getting there, ready to coach. They've already been there for hours and they've done the work. That's the issue. Personally, I don't know why we're questioning him so much before he's even coached the game. Um, you know, well, this is unusual, though, Brace. Yeah, but I, I, he well, hasn't even coached the game yet. And, he, and we're it's writing back page stories on him. He but, hasn't even, but, but hasn't coached the game yet. What if he comes out and he's got the secret to success? Well, that's what we're but saying. That's the question I'm asking, But, that's what but we're are saying. you he asking that he question? He may will. Are you asking that question? Well, I am. Look at the first paragraph. That, you, see, you generally... This it is says, or will he be a revolutionary coach? OK. I'm I asking the question. That's OK. I see the question. I am suggesting... I don't see the question, if you know what I mean. Can a flamboyant, charismatic bloke like Benji morph into a meticulous coach over the laborious 30-week season? That's the question. I just think we I can, think we'll we need can have, answers we to. Can have, we'll have the answers soon. Correct. And I think we wait until then and he's, he's Start on enough's Saturday. been said. While admitting Benji does take a different approach to the top job, the Tigers players are right behind him. He's very um, laid back. He's, he's, he's very smart. Um, but yeah, he's got a different approach. He's, 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 he's still got good banter around all the boys. He's brought his different approach to, to, the, to the team and to the club, and he really wants to turn this club around and, and, in, in a positive way. To be honest, I don't know if it's any different to any other coaches. Um, yeah, we come in, he's here, tells us you know, what to do and pretty much tries to coach us, and then when we leave, you know, we're gone. Uh, I have no clue about the hours thing. I'm sure he's doing his due diligence, but at the end of the day, I think he's doing a great, great job at coaching the boys here. The players don't seem to be too worried about it. Hoops, they're right behind him. Starts Saturday against the Raiders down in the National Capital, Braith. That's where we'll get the best indication. 